Hey, what's going on guys, Lytic here. Today I am again, once again, on my Omnifactory server and as I promised in the previous episode, um, F5, as I promised in the previous episode, we're going to be building a Blast Furnace. So, if I want to see how, if you want to see how the Blast Furnace is built, you just search for an electric furnace, electric Blast Furnace controller and press R. Oh, not here. R. And then you will see a multi-block pattern tab and just press by layers. So uh, first layer is controller output. Th these don't matter where they go. Just let's let just let's just okay. Uh, okay, so the first layer is uh, you need a furnace controller on either of these four sides, not in the corners. And then you need an energy input hatch. Uh, one is going to be here and one is going to be shown up top, but I think I'm going to put both of these down here. And then fluid input and output and input and output bus. These are for items and these are for fluids. I think it works. You can put water and get steam out, but I don't know. I'd never tried that. So uh, let's start building. I'm going to build it uh, back here. And the first thing we need is a... Uh, Electric blast furnace controller, then like one, two, three of the casings, and then actually, um, those are in, in input latches. Are th those are different colors now because uh, they aren't connected. They it doesn't detect uh, structure yet. I'm gonna put them like this actually here, and then input and output bus, input output, and and for now I'm going to fill it up like this and because it doesn't matter uh, then we need cupronickel coil blocks these are relatively easy to make but you need 8 ingots for one and 8 ingots is 4 nickel and 4 copper and now for the topmost layer we can just do this fluid input here fluid output here and as you can see, the colors change because it detected a valid structure. Now it says idling, and the only thing we have to do now... Wait, it requires EU, right? Medium voltage. Okay. Um, I don't know if we actually need a medium voltage... Um, you know, a M M MVCF for that. So I'm just gonna try and connect it to the existing one. I'm gonna go one block lower, so I can hide it underground. I have to mine all of this out. Where's my shovel, actually? The one time I need my shovel. Okay, so if I go... Like this. Hope I have enough. Uh, my shovel doesn't like the long building, I guess. It broke. Let's see. Um. Oh. Oh no. I'm stupid. This requires... Wait. Let, let, let me let me check. This requires EU, which means input. Yeah. Hmm. I messed up. I'm gonna break this and make some wires and then connect it up and then I'll do that off camera now and I, then I'll we'll test it out. Okay, so I have swapped things around a little. The inputs are no longer here uh, and they are here. And I have only made um, the insulation for these because we don't need them. You don't need insulation for those underground. But if you touch one of these underground, you will die. Just don't be, be careful if you're doing this. And so now we can go back to our quest book and it will, we can make aluminum ingots. With your EBF running, start to create a supply of aluminum ingots. These are crucial for uh, medium voltage machines. 
If you find your power supply is faltering, you may want to make additional dynamos and turn them into steam boilers and turbines. Upgrading your dynamos is also advisable. However, you are also about to reach MV. You are bound to discover a better power source than steam before long. Okay, so we need to make aluminium. So, I have also discovered this thing, which, as you can see, working disabled. You can disable and enable machines if they're not, there's not enough power. Let's see if it manages to... Warning, machine need more z needs more energy. Understandable, have a great day. Okay, I'm gonna put this there. I'm gonna take three stacks of logs. I'm out of logs already. And I need more charcoal, so I'm gonna go 16 like this. Let's see. Hiding? Oh, yay, aluminium ingot. Quest completed. Oh, this is just my death. It just shows you where you died. Okay, so the next thing is MV machine holes. MV machine K. Oh, yeah, you need a lot of aluminium. Uh, but let's not do that right now. We were wa we wanted to make a loot fabricator in the previous episode. That's also why I built this. And you, you, we need an energetic blend and a gold ingot. And do we have a mixer? I don't think we do. Wait, let me see. No, the mixer is this one. How do we make that? Oh, it's really easy. Um, since I have a lot of circuit boards, I only need three iron. Uh, I'm just gonna make this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have completed the mixer and also added an extra wire. So now we can finally make the loot fabricator. But we need some steps first. So first we need four energetic blends. So four redstone and four glowstone dust. Oh, I also forgot. How do you make... How do you make the glowstone dust? How does one make glowstone dust? Loot fabricator from which? Pulverization. Redstone lamp. Centrifuge cinnabar ore. Centrifuge redstone ore. Okay, let's uh, let's try centrifuging cinnabar. Where's cinnabar? Um, no, this is almadine. This is cinnabar. Twenty cinnabar. Okay, let's try and centrifuge. No, wait. How do you make centrifuge cinnabar or? Uh, wait. Pulverization and then centrifuge cinnabar. Oh, you need to thermal centrifuge. Okay, I don't like where this is going. Let's try another way. Glowstone, mixer, gold and phosphor. How do you get phosphor? Impure pile of phosphorus dust. Okay, so we just need phosphorus ore. Do we have any? Nope, let's... let's phos... phos... Let's see. Phosphor ore. Oh, I need five omni pennies. Okay. Uh, I can make five omni pennies like this. Get half a stack of phosphor ore. Now the phosphor ore goes in here, and it takes time. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay. So the dust, the ores finished crushing, and I got f crushed phosphor ores, and then I smashed with a hammer and got impure fa impure pile of phosphor dust. So now we can finally create the energetic blend or glowstone. First, we need gold and phosphor to create two of them. So we only need four, so we need two of each. Uh, I need two, I think. Two of each. I got more. Yep, two of each. Um, now I put it in the mixer. No, this is the mixer. Oh, yeah, I have to centrifuge. Wait. You. Yep, centrifuge it first. Which is the centrifuge? This is the centrifuge. One, two. Okay, this takes some time. Uh, let's get prepared. Actually, it's not that long. Let's get prepared with 
the processors. Um, okay, this is done already. Uh, let's get prepared with the processors. So if I go here and wait for the okay primitive circuit, two red, four red alloy cables, two diodes, and four okay diodes are easy. So for the diode, I need one of these. Put it through here. What else do I need for a diode? Let me just. For a diode, I need two, four glass panes and two piles of gallium. So I have to only get this much sand. Just put it through here. Nice, this is done already. And I can use this into the mixer, I guess. Yeah, to get energetic blend. Oh, wrong. Wrong one, which is the mixer. This is the mixer. Uh, where, 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 where were we at? Oh, yeah. Uh, and this can also put it through again. This is enough thin wire, but we ha we will get more. Uh, I'm just gonna put one of these inside. Actually, I'm gonna put all of these inside. Okay. So now that we have glass panes, we the only thing we need is gallium, and gallium is in here, and we need two. And so we can create it like this. Oh, it only oh it creates four. Okay, I have I have it on I'll have it on stock. Now we need red alloy wires, I believe. Uh, we need four red alloy cables and two wrought iron plates. So first I'm gonna crush this. Then I'm gonna smelt this. And while I'm wait, we need cables, so we need rubber. One, two, three, four. Also, what is this doing here? This should be up here with the tens. Um uh, where are we Oh yeah, this uh how many do we need for cables? So like this, wrought iron plates, four wrought iron plates. One, two, three, four. So like this. This is just the preparation for the microprocessors. And now I need four rubber. So bam. Okay, the iron is smelted, so I need to put it through here too. And that's wait what? Okay, so that's basically it for the processors. I'm just going to wait for that. And then we need energetic alloys. And the way we get that is energetic blend. One, two, three, four. And gold ingots. One, two, three, four. I believe this has enough power for it to work. I'm just gonna leave it inside for now. Oh, the game lags usually sometimes and now we should be able to create a micro processor where is it oh we're missing oh yeah we're missing eight circuits i mean how could i miss the most important thing that you need to build a processor uh, where is it now? Up here. Shift click. One, two. Let's hope I don't need four. No, I only need two. Now for the dark steel. Oh, yeah. The dark steel machine hull. Need 18 wrought iron. Oh, no. That scares me a bit. Let's see. Okay, I get one omniquarter. And I believe. Oh, end game. Oh yeah, end game is this. And then there should be early game. Oh, oh well. Warning, the machine needs more energy. Huh. Interesting. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna put where is it a stack of co charcoal in here Okay, it says still says warning, but it's working now So what were we doing here? Have to check everything because I'll probably forget. Okay, nothing. So now we're waiting for the energetic blends and Oh, yeah hopper. Oh, yeah now I remember we need eight Oh, I need another one. We need eight dark steel Actually, no, we need four more dark steel uh, and we need where where is my coal? Why does my coal always go missing? One, two, three, four, four. Only four. I only need four because I already have four dark steel ingots. And now I have to crush coal. So wrought iron plus crushed. Oh, it's out of energy. Plus crushed coal into the basic alloy smelter. No, not that one. This one. Okay, how is this going? Three. Three out of four running perfectly. Nice. Yeah, these aren't though. Okay, it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna... Is this reverting? Yep, it's still reverting. Energetic alloy. Energized metal. Okay, just... Okay, we have... I keep completing quests that I don't even know that they exist. Where was this one? Down here. Energetic alloy energy conduits. Ooh. Now that you have, it's time to make some better conduits. It's the time you upgrade your conduits, you also get more of them. Neat. If you don't have an assembling machine, you'll have to make them by hand. This method isn't as efficient as the machine, but you'll make one soon enough. Vibrant alloy, an ender IO alloy. Nice. Auxiliary transmission coil. Okay, so it's basically a speed upgrade. And I have to go to sleep. But first I want to make one of these. So I don't waste those. So I don't waste space. Okay, wake up. Nice. Put your money inside. Put your things, other things inside. Cinnabar, how is my steel? It's already done. Now I need for obsidian for the dark steel. Two, three, four. And I'm gonna take this dark steel as well. Can't run. Can run. Nice. So now if I. I always keep mixing them up because I think that's this is one at the end. And I have to compress this. Soon. Wait. Don't tell me I'm missing. Oh no, I'm not missing energy conduits. I made like 22 of them. Where are they now though? Don't tell me I've lost them. Yep, I've definitely lost them. No, wait, they're here. I'm just going to put, you know. Oh no, 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 no. Not yet. Um, here. Oh, this is quite fast. And here, and while that's doing its thing, we can make, uh, what? Oh, they have to be plates too. Okay, so we need to make them all into plates. Okay, so this is gonna take some time, but we also need two tin cables. One, two. No, no, no. Oh, God. Now I need to make another Wrath Iron. Ingot. This has a lot of ingots. What? It just goes directly to fine? Okay, I guess. Oh no, I don't have to make another one actually. I didn't have to make another one. I'm gonna do this now. Oh no, 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 no. I have to be faster. Because this is done. I have to put two rubber inside and put this one, two back inside. So now I can finally create cables. 
and when those three get converted we can make a dark steel machine hull and then finally a loot fabricator okay 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 if i press loot fabricator what am i missing a hopper obviously the easiest thing to make i am always missing one two on the river right chest and hopper what oh god yep we need plates they need to be plates they always need to be plates in this mod pack need to remember that plates are everything now finally when we get a loot fabricator i'm going to disconnect this and then i'm going to start this again actually i'm going to do that now because it has enough energy but it still needs fuel and we're burning through the fuel rapidly don't have any more logs anymore I'm just going to need to do this. Nice. I should be producing power and at 300,000, 80, 90, 310. Needs running. Okay, now with the plates. And we are finally making a hopper. Oh, this is not the plate. Wrench, hopper, loot fabricator. Nice. Finally, we can get the loot. Okay, so if I put this right next to the... It still has zero rev because it, it's not connected to the grid. Now it's connected and it has a lot of power. So we can do... Let's, let's turn this. You can select it and I think I want blaze rods. And it creates blaze rods into fire. And with these, I can choose, I'm gonna choose tin because the tin, tin is what I need most. So that is the end of our journey towards the loot fabricator. And I'm quite happy we have completed it because we can now get blaze rods and we can soon advance into the ender pumps. So these pumps basically just pump lava and we'll need lava for our lava dynamos, magma dynamos, which are faster, I believe. And these tanks, as you see, require blaze rods. And I'm going to probably make these. These are easy to make, nothing special. Just the Cerestonia crystals, I think are a bit complicated. Resonating redstone crystal, yeah. Have to make either a redstone block and an ender shard. Yeah, we need a lot of pearls. How do we get a uh, data model, enderman, ender pearl? We need one ender pearl, one blank data model, and a lot more ender pearls. Cannot begin. Okay, so this is the end of this episode. So. Hope that you enjoyed, I still have a school on my head, if you did, please make sure to hit like button and I will see you in the next episode, goodbye!